A wise man once said, everyone has a plan until you're punched in the mouth. And also, everybody's got a plan until Draymond Green Hit somebody in the face, hit somebody in the face, hit somebody in the face starts hitting threes including green who hits a free right there which... that's one to get in the screen green another three Get it in. two on the other way the trailing green over Hayes. a three good three spin curry behind the back to green free to fire triple what is going on here with draymond green uh, shooting four shooting game Austin Reeves. Why not? Why not? Why not? He is a flamethrower! <laughs> Words I thought I'd never say! <laughs> five for five for Draymond Green, who was so hot from distance, he got into a shootout with one of the deadliest shooters from the Wild Wild West, AR-15. Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Switch Culture. The Warriors and Lakers are about as close as you could get to put on one of the most incredible displays of competitive basketball we've seen all season. While the final score saw the Warriors blow the doors off LA, it was down the stretch where the Warriors put the final nail in the coffin for their separation. But is this even surprising? With Anthony Davis missing, the Lakers were down one superstar player. We've also seen the Warriors play their best basketball over this stretch to close out the season despite fielding an injured roster for a number of games. It's obvious what this is. Not only is playoff basketball in the building, so is the most unpredictably dangerous team in the West. So go ahead, click that button, and find out what makes these two teams the NBA's premier arch rivalry. Now get ready, you're about to get Before I get started guys, I just wanted you to know that this is one of, if not the most difficult videos I've ever had to do. I also wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate you watching my content. I'm going to be making some channel announcements in the coming weeks, so if you're a regular viewer and enjoy the content, stay locked in as we try to take this thing to the next level. So with that being said, this latest Lakers matchup was fire. LeBron James and Stephen Curry never seem to disappoint when the two show up to play. The Warriors set a new record of 26 threes and 10 blocks as a team, the most of any NBA franchise in history. With 15 and 10 from Dre, 11 and 9 from Chris, and 23 and 8 from Steph Curry, that ball was moving. That's 27 assists between just three players. Now there are a couple of very interesting things about the Western Conference right now. It appears that a number of teams are peaking right at this very moment. Notably, the Dallas Mavericks with Kyrie and Luka putting up insane performances every night. I mean, look at these numbers we're seeing from Kyrie and Luka. 37-12-9 for Luka Magic and 48-7 for Uncle Drew, shutting down the Houston Rockets season for good. What in the holy water Texas Ranger are they drinking down in Dallas? It seems this team has figured it out and are on the best stretch this duo has ever had. But if you've been watching this channel, you'd know that this was totally expected. The Dallas Mavericks are going to be a problem for the Clippers in the playoffs. But why am I talking about the Mavericks? Here's why. The Warriors went up against Dallas twice recently, splitting the games one and one with the loss against Dallas the second time around a bit of a downer after smoking the smack-talking Rockets. That loss, despite coming down to the last possession, probably hurt a little more than it should, as it really dimmed the chances of the Warriors getting what would likely be the 8th seed and a much better shot at securing a playoff spot. The Warriors, who struggled for much of the season, were able to beat the Dallas Mavericks when they had Luka. This Mavericks team is right there with Golden State, but are no less dangerous than any team not named the Denver Nuggets. And to be honest, without Jamal Murray, I don't think Denver could take down Dallas. So what does this say about the Warriors? You tell me in the comments. The other team that's been on a tear for the last 10 to 15 games has been the Lakers. Now yes, they recently lost two games after going 9-1 in their last 10, dropping them to 7-3 in their last 10. This makes them no less formidable as a team. They did play the number one seed, the Timberwolves, without Anthony Davis or LeBron James, and then played the Warriors without AD. While they could try to improve their standing and try to clinch the 8th seed and reduce their chances of being knocked out in the play-in, 
they've somewhat resolved themselves to that fate, and it technically doesn't matter if you're ninth or 10th, you still have to win two games. If AD and Braun are rested enough as the Lakers head into the play-in, expect them to win and make the playoffs. Now, if both the Warriors and Lakers are 9th and 10th seeds, that's going to be a shame. So, I'm expecting the Lakers to eclipse the Kings and nab that 8th spot anyway, so they can take on the Suns, while the Warriors battle the Kings for that final playoff spot. Year 21 for LeBron and Year 17 for KD, and we could be seeing these two attempt to knock each other out of playoff potential, and that's some true magic. Then we have what seems like it could be the Warriors versus the Kings in a replay of last season, only this time on a smaller stage. The Kings are down some players, which has led to a surefire team sliding a bit and into an elimination matchup. There's absolutely no chance this team would beat either of the Lakers or the Warriors. On the other hand, we could possibly see the Lakers and Warriors match up in the play-in, eliminating either Steph Curry or LeBron James out of the playoffs this season and with serious implications for the next. Speaking of LeBron James and Steph Curry, the two icons have been the two best players of the last generation of players. Their rivalry has spanned multiple teams and with both in the same conference, put the two in the spotlight twice as often as they had been in prior years. Both the Warriors and Lakers have won a championship in the current decade, and a win by either one of the two changes the entire narrative of the basketball landscape. The implications of a championship win by either player is monumental and really drives the NBA. Both teams, however, have completely different makeups. With the Lakers, you have a more top-heavy duo of LeBron and AD. Reeves and Russell can be high-level role players with Hachimura rounding out the current five. What the Lakers benefit from is that ever since All-Star break, they've gotten much more consistency from their role players, especially D'Lo, and even without LeBron, still have a formidable team capable of beating some of the best teams in the league. They also seem to get a very favorable whistle from the refs, so they tend to go to the line more often with a wider margin of error than any other team. The Warriors, on the other hand, have their lone superstar in Stephen Curry, alongside former All-Stars Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, and Andrew Wiggins, whom have all regressed to high-level role players who can still give you some star-level play on a given night. Trace Jackson Davis, a rookie, rounds out the starting five to give the Warriors a bit more size than they had with Draymond moving back to the four in this lineup. That's a 57th overall pick and rookie in the Warriors' best starting lineup heading into the playoffs. This team has always thrived on chemistry and we saw a bit of that displayed against the Lakers. The superior ball movement found guys open, the locked in mentality had them locking down the paint and playing high level defense without fouling, keeping the Lakers free throw differential down to only a plus 3. For a team considered to be the worst in the league at free throw differentials, that's pretty good. Klay Thompson is no longer a facade and has had much better consistency. Draymond has been a terrific shooter this season with the same level of defensive intensity and the Rooks, both TJD and Pods have really come up big time to add to a roster the Warriors thought was already talented and was set to play without these two at the beginning of the season. If the Warriors get good minutes from Kaminga, CP3 and Moody off the bench, it's going to be a tough 7 game series for any franchise that faces the Western Conference's premier team. Let me know which of these young players will come up big in the playoffs. Do the Warriors continue this hot streak? Post your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all your notifications so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Swish.